Hello everybody, how are you doing and how has your day been? My name is Stubbers YT and welcome to a new series on my channel. Yes guys, today we are starting The Sims 3 Showtime and I'm very excited for you guys to not only meet The Sim, but also see some older Sims that have a bit of a new look and are a little bit older and more approved for this kind of series. Uh, I've been wanting to start Showtime for a really long time um, so much so that one of the sims you're going to be is actually a sim I made way back in like the very beginning of my channel. I mean my OG generation series that's unlisted now. Like it's, you can't see it. Um, due to the fact that uh, I just never got around to starting it because I like quit for a little bit and then came back. But I made one of these sims for that original Showtime series I was going to do and I never ended up doing it. So it's really exciting to officially be back and finally doing Showtime. So without further ado, this is our house. It's one of the basic ones that uh, come with the world. And uh, we're going to go ahead and meet the sims. So let's get into that. Okay guys, we're starting off with a familiar face. If you guys watched my pet series... This sim should be very, very familiar to you. It is Daniel Wilson. He is the youngest son or youngest child of Harper and Brantley Wilson, which is very, very exciting to me, honestly. Um, I really wanted to use Daniel for this kind of series because I feel like he was always the black sheep of the farming trio. You know, Harper and Brantley had three kids, Dallas, Dixie, and Daniel was the final born. And Daniel was always kind of the one that seemed the least happy working on the farm. I did not bring his cat Minnie with us um, because I feel like, you know, they're going to be struggling for money a lot. I feel like Daniel would have wanted someone who could take care of Minnie to keep hold of her while he goes off and tries to find his dream as a magician. So, as you can see, his outfits are, you know, not the nicest. His converse look a little busted. But he's still cute, and that's all I can really ask of him. On to the next sim. Okay, guys, this is our second sim. This is Miss Stella Spitz. And Stella Spitz is going to be my acrobat. Um, her stage name is Stella Splits. You know, I it's corny like that. Stella is my sim that grew up in this area. She grew up here. She kind of knows her way around. She knows what she's doing. She, um, They all have the natural born performer trait but I feel like Stella is you know she's my social butterfly she's out there she knows what she's doing and she knows what she wants she grew up here that's kind of her backstory and my game wants me to save but not yet so that's Stella she's really really cute honestly look at her she's so pretty I literally love her look and our final sim that we will be playing with I do not blame you guys if you do not recognize this sim because the last time you guys saw her she was a toddler this is Miss Raven Gray, originally from my university life, LP. Her, she had two moms. She is the adoptive daughter of Addison and Samantha Gray. And she, her, one of her moms, you know, was really badass rocker. And the other one was a big time artist. So, you know, I feel like her mom definitely painted her guitar for her. She's probably got, you know, she's got a really cool style to me. I love Raven. Honestly, she's very pretty too. Um, you guys remember she is adopted after all, but I honestly think she's really, really cute and I can't wait to play with her a little bit more. So that's Raven. And now their, uh, their traits. Uh, I see Stella fell. So Daniel's traits. Daniel has a good sense of humor. He loves the outdoors. Like I said before, he grew up on a farm, so obviously cat person he's always been a cat person I didn't want to change that about him he's ambitious and a natural born performer he likes the color yellow he likes sushi he likes digitunes and he is a Sagittarius and uh, yeah he can't really see his family tree but he's got a lot of siblings and then Stella is a social butterfly party animal charismatic athletic natural born performer she likes white cobbler island life and she's a Pisces and last but not least, Miss Raven, who is brave, a virtuoso, good, a diva, and a natural-born performer. She likes black crepes custom music because she is going to be the sim I have experiment with the DJ station stuff, and she's a Taurus. So yeah, there she is. Isn't she cute? Honestly, I love her. I love her. This is our house. Um, 
it's kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie to you the girls are sharing a room and daniel literally got a whole room to himself and we basically have no money so talk about being poor would you talk about being poor we are poor so daniel i'm actually gonna have he wants to perform for some tips as a magician so i'm probably gonna have him go over where would be a good place to perform for tips maybe that's the festival grounds we'll try we'll send daniel over to perform Hmm. I mean, I guess I could have both of them perform in town because I was going to have both of them play for tips or do stuff for tips for right now because, I don't know, I feel like it's a good idea. Both of you go over there. Stella, really don't understand how these two met. But, so Daniel's clearly, like, the least wealthy. He, like, had enough to get himself some, some clothes to move. And Stella's from here, so, you know, she's used to this whole L.A. kind of vibe. And Raven grew up in a house that was very well educated. I mean, everybody in that household went to college and graduated pretty well. I mean, she lived with her aunt and uncle who um, were, who are like a surgeon and uh, one's a surgeon and one's like a principal or something, like a superintendent, something like that. They're, it's very well educated household. Okay, listen, university man, don't really care about you, but you coming means there it is. I can sell you for money, buddy. Yes. Yes. And Stella's gonna stay here for a little bit and just kind of work on her athletic skill because she kind of needs that for her job. Uh, she needs to improve her athletic skill. <sighs> Deliver singograms, perform for tips, perform illusions. You can't really perform a whole lot just yet. I know a lot of people don't like Showtime. Um... Watch a SimFest. Uh, maybe. I know a lot of people don't like Showtime as a pack. Me, personally, I like Showtime. Not as much as other packs, obviously, but I do enjoy Showtime. I think it's fun. Um, I mean, there are packs I like less than Showtime, if that's any, you know, like, sense. Uh, but Raven is gonna perform for some tips. Singer. Perform for tips. And Daniel is also going to be performing for tips. Let's see who makes more. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's the bathrooms. Okay, don't make silly faces at people. Perform some, perform for tips. Go ahead and perform for tips. Raven just sang her best, hoping the others would be impressed enough by her performance to drop a few smolians. Yes, I'm hoping they will be too, because... You know, look at her go. She's actually performing with her guitar that, in my head, her mom definitely painted it for her before she, you know, left to go do all this. One of my friends actually said Raven looks a lot like Selena Gomez when she was on Disney. And, um, I'm like, so you're saying she looks like Alex Russo? <laughs> you're saying she looks like a Russo kid? Oh my god, your outfit is so goofy. Your outfit's so goofy. Oh, Stella is actually the semi originally made for showtime and i just never got to use her so it's really nice for me to finally get to use her because honestly oh you're stealing everybody nobody's watching daniel because you're stealing everyone raven but i did actually have a toddler version of raven still saved in um my like saved sims bin and i was like oh my god i can bring raven back for this so i did i brought raven back you know she's still absolutely adorable even as an adult and i'm really sad we didn't get to watch her grow up someone's falling in love with her based on her voice how cute look at her go there she's she's rocking out she's not even that good at the guitar like sh her skills really low oh cute how about you go oh you actually need like a shower or something before you go do anything by the way this pull-up bar thing came with showtime you guys will see me use it a lot in houses and stuff. It's really good for just, you know, basic workout equipment and stuff. Do you even need to use the bathroom? Why'd I tell you to do that? No, just take a take a bath. At some point, we will get to use, like, the genie and stuff like that. You're not making anything, Daniel. Budro, nobody's watching. Look at him. He's so cute, though. I honestly, I love Daniel. Like, you guys don't understand. I watched this boy grow up before my eyes in pets and raven i watched you know as a child she's cute her little outfit is cute though i'm not gonna lie like her outfit's cute and all 
She has a little nose ring. I feel like, I think, um, Addison had a nose ring as well, or like, um, she has a nose stud. I think Addison had a ring or like a lip piercing or something. I can't really remember, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I can't actually remember, but eventually we'll get to play on this stage, which will be really exciting. We'll get to make our own sets and stuff like that for it. And then, you know, um, there's another one somewhere. I think this one we can actually play at as well. I could be wrong, though. Can I, can I go inside? Or is that a no? I swear. Um, no, you, you definitely can. I just don't really know how to get in the building. Hmm. You definitely can go inside. I think. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, stage areas around town that you can... No, you, you can. It's blue. You can go in there. Um, there's a lot of these stage places that you'll, you'll get to perform at. Like, you can start off performing at, like, Mick, like, the karaoke bar and stuff. And then you can move up to, like, clubs, clubs after moving on to, like, the performance parks and things like that. Which I think is pretty cool. I, I, I know that this pack gets a lot of hate. This is the dream right here, guys. This is the dream. You don't understand. This, this area here, the Buckshot household, whoo. Woo! I think it would be so nice to live in a place like that. But I'm actually going to skip back when uh, something interesting happens. Maybe I'll have Stella go out after she gets done, you know, taking care of herself. But I'll see you guys in just a bit. Guys, I, I left for a few seconds to go, like, you know, send Stella to a lot to go perform for tips and stuff. And Raven have, has amassed quite a crowd here. Oh my goodness. And she's doing really well, actually. It's, it's literally the first part, and she's already boosting her job experience like crazy. I didn't explain to you your, their lifetime wishes. Okay. Okay, we'll start with Daniel. We'll go down the line. <laughs> Poor Daniel. Not getting anything out of this. Daniel is, uh, he's currently magician level one. He's a novice trickster. He is the whimsical Wilson. I was going to go with the dazzling Daniel, but I, I thought whimsical fit more with being a magician. So he's the whimsical Wilson. Uh, Daniel's lifetime wish is the master magician. The world of magic and illusion seems exotic and mysterious to most sims. To make it as a magician, your sim must master tricks ranging from making small objects appear to escaping complicated death traps. It will be dangerous, but success will surely lead to fame and glory as a world-renowned illusionist. Reach level 10 of the magician career. Uh, Stella, who is currently at the Starlight Plaza... By the way, the world is called Starlight Shores. It's actually, like, I, I think Starlight Shores has pretty nice builds and stuff like that. I was going to have her do some stuff here. Um, Stella is an aspiring mime. Her stage name is Stella Splits. Haha, <laughs> you get it? Because she does splits. Yeah, she bends and stuff. She wants to be a master acrobat. Many young sims fall in love with tumbling and jump headfirst into acrobatics, hoping that their leap of faith will end in sold-out performances with crowds of adoring fans. It will take years of stretching, bending, and treating burns, but great strength of body and perseverance will eventually lead a sim to the title of Master Acrobat, reach level 10 of the acrobat career. And lastly, Raven. Raven's um, name on stage is just Raven Gray. I feel like most singers use the real name or like a, a like, like Katy Perry is Catherine Elizabeth Hudson. I don't know where Perry came from, but I feel like Raven has a pretty cool name as, as it is. Um, I might even introduce her younger brother, Phoenix, into the series at some point, because you guys know Raven has a younger brother. His name is Phoenix. Um, Singagram novice. She is just Raven Gray. Everyone dreams of being the next idol of, of, of being the next idol of being worshipped by millions of sims across the world. But can you work through the years of stress and obscurity to reach the heights of superstardom, reach level 10 of the singer career? Um, so yeah, she wants to be a vocal legend. They're all pretty cool and stuff. I kind of like, um... The, the different aspects of it. Stella is currently a mime. She's not really doing acrobatics just yet, but you know, it's it's pretty cool. Um, you can perform for tips. Maybe somebody will give you some money. Currently, Daniel's not getting any love. It's all going straight to Raven. He's but he's trying. Look, he's trying his best. He's trying his, he's trying really hard. Also, Raven has these clips in her hair. I don't know if I talked about them yet. They're custom content clips. But they just say glam, and I love them so much. I love them so, so much. They are so freaking cute. 
Um, but when they actually get to start performing and stuff is when it gets, like, really good. But for right now, she's just, she's doing her own thing. She's, she's... I actually can sing along with most of these songs, but my voice is still shot, so... Wow. Wow, someone is saying something to us. How about, Stella, instead of talking to people, you, um perform for some tips like I told you to I think that'll be a, a better a better deal for us right now performing for tips because you know if you perform for tips you get some money occasionally sometimes you don't sometimes you get nothing is this your kid I guess so also the miming outfit it's it's hilarious to me she's just chilling oh look she's she's got some people too look at her she's she's just chilling there that's so cute. Okay, wait. Let's let's get a better look at you with your mime makeup on. You look so sad. Stella is really pretty, honestly. I I I'm so happy I finally get to use her. Maybe I should have Daniel go somewhere else since um Raven is stealing all of the spotlight at this place. What happened? Activity of the Okay, he's fatigued. Don't really know how, but he's fatigued. We can go to the beach. You can go visit the beach by yourself. Yes. Um, and Raven will... Oh, you lost all your people, Raven. Raven... Oh, no, you didn't. They just took a while to load in. That's fine. Raven, how about you perform a song, right? Perform a song. Okay. Play One More Gray Day. People like you, Raven. You're doing good, honey. So, this is what's taking place of Midnight Hollow. If you haven't already guessed it, Midnight Hollow broke. Um, same thing that actually broke my university life, LP. Um, not really a way to fix it, or not one that I could find very easily without trying too hard and, you know, having to skip uploads on Wednesdays, which, who wants to skip an upload? Not me. I love uploading. I love talking to myself in my bedroom at random hours of time. I'm still out of school right now, so I've got, like, plenty of time to just sit in my room and record, which is basically all I've been doing, honestly. Um, I didn't make any of them natural cooks. That's so unlike me. I feel like Daniel would probably be the best at cooking, though, simply because... Raven earned a total of 74 smolians in tips. Way to go, Rave! Way to go, Raven! This is pretty cute, honestly. This little area, it's pretty cute. Um, Daniel, you can actually go ahead and head home. You'll serve some, like, dinner. I, I feel like you'd be the best at cooking because of, you know, your mom and stuff like that. I don't know. I just, I feel like your, his mom was, like, the best cook in the whole, like, she, she was just the best. She was the absolute best. She could cook. She could clean. She was a master at horseback riding. I mean, she was, she was lovely. Harper? great sim and don't let raven's parents fool you either raven's parents are cool as heck look at her go look at you go stella wow you're doing great honey you're doing great you're doing great you're pulling the rope you fell oh so sad i'm actually gonna send her home she can work on you know playing piano or something she can work on doing something they do get fatigued from performing for tips and stuff, so that can happen, so I gotta be wary. Um, but she didn't get any options to go do singograms, so, hmm. Right now, Daniel's one of those people that you'd, like, hire to to work your, your kid's birthday party. But he is gonna go serve some... I guess we can do mac and cheese. We have the fire alarm in case it goes, you know, wrong. I would really, really hate for it to go wrong, though, on the very first part. I feel like that's not something we want to deal with. Just me personally. I don't think you guys would really enjoy it either. Also, look. My Sims in a first part actually have a dining table. They have somewhere they can sit and eat other than the, the living room. Um, it's mostly because I use really cheap furniture and everything, um, so I could actually afford it. Usually I go above and beyond for my sims to try and make, you know, stuff look nice on the first part. Which nobody really cares if it looks nice or not on the first part. It's literally just me that cares. 
I am the only one that cares. And I need to stop caring so much about the little things. But I can't help it. It's who I am. It's who I am inside. Okay, you can stop performing and go ahead and head home. Um, Daniel should have this lovely mac and cheese done by the time you get here. I hope. Um, I need to make sure Lunar Cycle's turned off. But, oh, she made 34. See, Daniel, you're the only one that didn't make any money. I need to see if um, I have it allowed. I don't know if they gain celebrity status from this. Um, but I will keep from opting them out because of it. You know, because it's special, right? It's special. Um, and as you guys know, Supernatural will be ending next week. And there's another series that will be starting after Supernatural ends. I've already got everything set up, ready to go. I'll just be busting right into that. Oh, maybe busting is a bad word to use. Hmm. I didn't really think of it like that when I said it, but busting is probably not the best word to use, honestly. Stella, you look so cute, my darling. So cute and fatigued, naturally. Um, there are just, you know, there's... This is... Eh. I definitely could um put, like... I was going to say I could have put like a washer machine and dryer in here somewhere. But I'm kind of lazy and don't want to do that. So we're not going to. Um, that That's where I was going with that. We're, we're not going to. Um, everybody grab a bowl. Daniel made. Daniel made food. Everybody gets to eat. You're not going to starve tonight. I'm feeling generous. I just love Raven's outfit so much. It's very, like, it's definitely very similar to how both of her parent, both of her moms would have dressed, right? Like, Addison and Samantha both could have been seen in this. But Addison primarily wore pants. <laughs> Raven was the dresses and skirt kind of girl. Not Raven. Samantha. Jeez. She carries their, like, essence. She doesn't look like either of them. I mean, she has black hair. One of, uh, Samantha has black hair. Um, but she doesn't look like either of them, obviously, because she's adopted. Her younger brother, on the other hand, does look like them because he is a genetically modified baby. Um, he was created. Phoenix was, was, uh, he, he was, he's special. That's what we'll say about Phoenix. He's special. He was, he's a genetically engineered baby. Um, which I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Why are you getting another bowl? Stop. Put the mac and cheese down, Daniel. You are going to actually wait your turn. Stella is going to go use the bathroom, and then she's going to head to sleep. Raven's actually going to go ahead and head to sleep. And, uh, you can, I guess, yeah, you can watch TV. But I think this is a great part to end, or a great part to end, a great place to end the first part of this series, because I was really excited to bring it to you guys, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. If you guys like my content as a whole, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every single day. And if you have any suggestions for this series or any of my other series, you can leave them in the comments down below because I do check and read through all of those. But I love you all so very much, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, guys!